Oh, I hit my head on my little chandelier. That's what I get for moving my table over. I didn't realize. over. I didn't realize it. I don't even know why my table's moved over. It's not been that long since I sat at it, but I'm here with the Dollar Tree haul. It's a, collect a collective haul. <laughs> Some of it was from when we went camping. I ran in real fast to get a couple items. I'll tell you about that. Kenny and I went out. We had to go to the eye doctor. And he wanted to stop one place, and I wanted to stop one place. And, of course, you know I picked the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so, and he was going to sit out in the car, and can you believe it? I don't think I got down two aisles, and all of a sudden I heard, hi. It was Kenny. He came in for something. So, you'll let's just start out with the biggest. Yeah. One day, Kenny needed a fan. And I was going to the Dollar Tree. And I've not showed it to you yet. But he was needing a fan. It was hot. He had loaned his out. And of course, it's in another town. <laughs> so I told him, I said, oh, the Dollar Tree has some. So for one item, you can walk out of the Dollar Tree for $19, $1. Plus the tax. I walked out with a fan. And he says it does work really, really good. I don't think $19 was bad for it. I don't. I think it's co really comparable with a lot of places. Aerospeed, I'm not sure about the brand. But uh, he says he likes it. It was three speed. I'm trying to see what else it might say. I'm sure it's not remote control. Top mount switch, which I like. Kenny, I mean, Eli's using one right now that we've had for a long time that's on the floor that's circle, and the switch is on the back. I like it to be on the top, but, so I got him a box fan. 19 $1. And one other thing, one day when I was in there, it's already gone, but yeah. This one, if I had just bought the one item that day, which I bought more than one, but if I had just bought the one, I'd been walking out of the Dollar Tree with one product for four one dollars <laughs> plus tax. Red Baron deep dish pizza. And like I said, I've had it for a while, and uh, I thought I'd better show it to you because it's fixing to go in the trash, or maybe even the trash stock, I don't know. Like, I just bought one of those. It's about 50 cents cheaper than Walmart. Or Dollar General, I can't remember. <laughs> Walmart, I think. Who knows? It's comparable. One thing on one of the trips I was glad to find. Banana cream pie. Snack pack. I put one in the refrigerator. I don't know if any of it's left yet or not, but uh, Eli says it's good, and I told Kenny I had it, so I bought four packs, I think, of the banana cream pudding. I don't buy pudding very often. Normally, I buy the fruit, or I buy, um, yeah, it's the, the fruit with the jello. I'll do those two items. I know I bought one box of these, but I thought... And I haven't tried it yet. I really need to do some trying. But it's the old-fashioned cheese, premium cheese sauce made with real cheese, two three-ounce packages. Eli would rather have a cheese sauce with his mac and cheese than he does that powder. And I can't blame him. And I thought for uh, six ounces for a dollar and a quarter, 70, no, 65, 60, a little over 60 cents a pack in here. I can do doctor some macaroni and cheese where I know he'll like it. Found something new. I did. I was kind of glad I went in there. <laughs> I like these things. I like anything that's in these containers that you can just throw in the microwave and heat up. 
You tear the pouch open approximately one inch, place standing in the microwave, and you heat on high for 60 seconds. Remove from microwave and tear completely. It says there's two servings. This is the pasta zine made from 100% fine Italian wheat. Spaghetti pasta. So I'm just wondering, it says sp spaghetti pasta, pasta zine. <laughs> I'm looking at it for the first, not for the first time, but more detailed. I'm just wondering if it has any sauce with it. Since it says pasta zine. It just says to tear open completely and serve. Well, it's just the pasta. Because if it was the sauce, it would have had at least tomatoes in the ingredients, and it doesn't, just for pasta. But that's still a good deal. Uh, I've got plenty of pasta here. Kenny might even try it. This one's called Far, Far Flay, Far Fail Pasta. It's also Italian, 7.5 ounces. It says it's BPA-free, non-GMO, 100% natu natural ingredients, no artificial colors or flavoring. And I don't know what this means. H-A-L-A-L. -A -L. It's kosher. Trademark of Briggs used under the, and it's certified by something. <laughs> but for a dollar and a quarter, these are quick meals. I could even it say, say I didn't have any macaroni and cheese. I don't know if this pasta is flavored yet or not, or even if it is. Say I don't have macaroni and cheese. I just thought of that too. I bought this. I could use some of this and this. Instant mac and cheese. Of course, Eli likes the elbow better, but yeah. Or you could use it in a, in a casserole. So I was kind of happy with that one. I like trying different stuff. That's why I like to go to you go. I say um, for the price, and I've got a friend with me again. <laughs> These doors open, and you get a fly here and a fly there. Talking about Eli and his macaroni and cheese. He, and that he likes the elbow better. They had the pantry, Premier Pantry Deluxe Mac and Cheese Dinner. It has the cheese sauce with it. 10 ounces for a dollar and a quarter. So I bought one of those because, like I said, he likes the elbow macaroni better than he likes shells or any of the rest of them. So I got one of those. Well, I told you Kenny came into the Dollar Tree on the day that we went. Uh, to the eye doctor. We went out to eat. It was our date day. <laughs> when you get old, you have doctor appointment date days. But I had a laugh because I buy socks all the time, but he runs them playing ball. They run them going barefoot. They wind up shrinking sometimes. He did this. I didn't. Because, you know, I got plenty of socks. And I, and I try to get the cute ones when I can. Any of us can wear these, but he got him one, two, three, four pair, I mean four packs. It's just one pair in a pack, six to 12, four pack of the quarter length diabetic socks. Because his legs swell sometimes at night too, at late in the evenings and these are really comfortable, especially if you are like me and Kenny and you have issues about swelling during the day and at night, your ankles or your feet. I always say I have to wind up sometimes taking mine off because it makes part of my toes go numb on my right foot. But then he got three pair in each one, so that's six pair of the juncture six to 12 uh, athletic sock. These must be the ones he plans on using when he plays ball. So I got kind of tickled because he didn't have a basket. He didn't have a uh, a cart. He came in for... Hi, sweetie. I'll be done in a minute. No, you're fine. 
He came in for this duct tape in the blue. It is a tool bench, 10 yards, 1.89 inch wide duct tape. And he came in for, oh, he got a different duct tape, maybe two. He got the tool bench duct tape, heavy duty, two times stronger. I guess he's going to check it out. 1.89 inches, and it is just seven yards. And this one was 10 yards. But this one's thicker. The tape's a lot thicker. You can, you can tell. So, I better take those to him. I got one of these because I figured if it works on curling irons, it can work in the kitchen. You can use it for a gift basket for somebody if you're doing them a beauty basket, you know, with hair products, makeup products, and all that. It's a heat-resistant mat, and it's showing a curling iron sitting on it. And it is by Be Pure. But like I said, I believe you can, it heat-resistant up to 450 degrees. So I just got one and they had two different colors and I can't remember the other or maybe two other colors. But I just got the black. And while I was in makeup, I've got my Dollar Tree mascara on today, my Dollar Tree eyeliner on today, my Dollar Tree makeup foundation today. I was trying to think, did I wear it? One of the Eyeshadows I took a color out of might have been Dollar Tree. I can't remember. I'm trying to think of, was there anything? Oh, and my perfume was Dollar Tree. <laughs> I use a lot of Dollar Tree. But these seem new to me. Last Shout by Lay Mercery. I, I believe they have a foundation in Dollar Tree. But this was the Waterproof Last Shout Makeup in Black. And boy, could I have used it this morning. 95 degrees. I was sweating. So if I want mascara and I know I'm going to be sweating, I need that one. So I just got one. I don't really like having to wash waterproof off. Hopefully these, uh, I'm putting the tape down there. Hopefully these makeup wipes I've got will get that off. The one I've just rolled in the floor. <laughs> but I also got the full volume for thicker, longer, and fuller lashes. For five, Precise Brush Clint Free Formula. And it's also by Lay Masseri Volume XX. For a dollar and a quarter, you can't beat trying something. It beats going to the store and paying upwards to 10 to $20 for a mascara and you're not happy with it. And like I said, the little tube I used today, I like it. Talking about socks, when I went down the aisle, I didn't have any socks in the car. I wasn't too worried about that, but I thought I'd get these because I don't know if Eli or Kenny will wear them. I actually got me one to wear maybe under my, like my uh, blue jean shirts and stuff. But it's called, let me see, Victory Lee Premium Comfort Rib Tanks. I got one in large rib tank for a dollar and a quarter and you know it's name brand i was seeing if i see a price on it or i would think it's name brand but it does have the dollar and a quarter sign price ah right there and i got one in medium i might have could have got it in small i think they had all three sizes and the only color i think i seen was black that's how short-term memory I am, but I got a medium and a large. I haven't heard back about the other, uh, oh, I have heard back. I bought some undies a while back for Eli boxers, but they were kind of silky and they had a character on them. He didn't mind having the character on them and he liked the fact they were boxers, but he didn't like the feel of it. He has sensory issues. So, I don't know. This feels more like cotton than silky. He may like it. I don't know. It's extra large. I think that's the only size they had. Casual boxer briefs. 
micro stretch. So what I thought I'd do, distributed, oh, these retailed for $12. $12. You see why I say you can save at the Dollar Tree. So we'll see if one of the boys like these. I just bought one pair. They had all kinds of them. And I bought me a fall basket. <laughs> I just love this color. It's kind of a melon. It's a toned down orange. And for a dollar and a quarter, you can't beat it. And I had the, the nice young lady at the checkout just, I told her, oh, I found something else he bought. Good thing I was starting to organize already. Let me see, make sure I didn't put that out. He said, I'm gonna put these in the camper. Heavy duty suction cut hooks. He just bought a one pack from Tool, ben Tool Bench, two piece cut hooks to hang keys on. I'm just not so sure that it might be too wide on the hook, I don't know. But he picked that up. But yeah, even when he's not gonna go shopping at the Dollar Tree, guess what he does? He goes shopping. Did I get it all? Got all that. That goes to him. Oh, got one more thing I can show you. He asked me for green tea, and I forget why he said he wanted green tea, and I thought I had some in my stash. I'm not a big green tea drinker, even though I have drank it. So I bought a box of 100 bags, 3.52 ounces, served hot or cold, green tea. So I need to start making those pretty soon. Yeah. I have a few more interesting things that I have bought at the Dollar Tree. Like I said, it's a combination. It's when I get out, I happen to go by the dentist date day. We actually, there was four Dollar Trees in the vicinity of our traveling that I could have went to. I picked the one I normally don't go to. That's worth uh, everything that was in the basket, not this, but everything that was in the basket I pulled out came from uh, Clinton, Tennessee. Uh, that's where I got that at. But I'll come back because I need to finish cleaning off my table. Yeah, I got more down. <laughs> but I think I've about got my stock up done. If you see all my videos, I don't know when you'll see them. Because I've done several, I'm trying to get some together because they're not not quite time sensitive, but I like for you to have them in September so you can get ready for the winter time. That's what I'm trying to do. I so appreciated the fact I had as much as I did, and I'm I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I I could do it, and uh, and sometimes we have enough, you know doesn't hurt to help somebody out. It really doesn't. And it makes you feel good. Thank you for watching. And until next time, we'll talk soon.